hold on, my, my, don't kill me. I gotta do my controller. Oh. Yeah, dude, just hold that trigger down when you see somebody. No! You jumped into my rocket. Son of Which was amazing. You get close to somebody and pull the right and hold the right trigger down. So, so right In some jobs, you have to become serious and grown up. If you're an accountant, I don't know. You have to be all serious all day. And I get to play around. And I get paid for that, so it's pretty awesome. My name is Arnold Porras. I'm from Colombia. Um, I am a graphic designer here at Struck Inc. One of the things that I do is I work with the entertainment industry, like Sony, Nickelodeon, uh, DreamWorks, Pixar. Uh, we do promotional materials for their movies and their shows. I love the arts, I love drawing, I love colors, typography. If I were an accountant, they would fire me the next day, like, stop drawing things, you know, get some work done. You need to do what you are passionate about. I have a really cool job. I, I feel really fortunate that I get to do these things as part of my career just because a lot of them are things that I do on my own time as volunteers or, or just for fun. My name is Andy Armstrong. I'm the resource management specialist here at Timpanogos Cave National Monument. Here in our division, we're responsible for uh, looking after the health of the cave resource, doing any mitigation, any restoration to the cave. In addition to cave stuff, we also deal with basically anything to do with the natural or cultural systems here at the park. 501, this is 502. 502, we have a rattlesnake on the trail. 502, clear. Well, I guess for me, you know, caves are, are my passion, and so it's, it's really rewarding for me to get to uh, have a job where I, I get to do that on a daily basis. Uh, Chris, can you give me the size of the thing? Right. Uh, well, my name is Dane Rolf. I work at Struck. We're a creative agency. And my title, I'm a social media coordinator. From Facebook to Twitter to Instagram to Pinterest to LinkedIn, to whatever else somebody else comes up with and becomes the, the biggest thing in new media. I have to make sure I'm, I'm on top of it and that we are doing something there to, uh, to, to, to be there with the buzz, to be there where people are, are having communications and uh, where people are connecting with one another. I never would have guessed that the mixture of my education and just my natural ability to, to use social media would land me a job, so uh, that's fun. There's a series of cooking classes that, um, that they were doing that were all inspired by books, and so I, I went to this cooking class and covered it and got to sample all these lovely goodies and hear about this, hear from this woman who had written this cookbook and. I was kind of like, really, this is this is what I get paid for, huh? This is pretty great. <laughs> so I'm Lindsay Whitehurst. I'm a reporter for the Salt Lake Tribune. Doing this job, I have really gotten to meet some very interesting people and um, even see some really incredible things um, from ice rescues, um, to meeting polygamists and talking with them on a pretty regular basis, to house fires and murders and uh, car crashes, just some, some really interesting things and some really um, incredible stories from these folks who have um, lived through some things that I, I never would, um, would be able to imagine. So, and I get to hear all that, it's pretty great. There are so many cool jobs out there that I didn't know existed. I didn't know that I could do what I do or even some of the other things that I've even heard about. I didn't know that these things even were an option. And having an education exposes you to all these different 
alleyways. Education definitely puts you on a different level and gives you opportunities and um, the skills that you need to work with your mind and your talents. I feel like college gives you more time during a time in your life when you need to figure things out to be exposed to different things and to find that direction. Whereas if you don't go, you may end up making some choices now that sort of lock you into a certain path and that may not be the path that you want to be on in the long run. I definitely got my first jobs in the park service based on the fact that I had a college degree where I might not have had that opportunity otherwise. College can absolutely open up so much for you that you really had no idea was out there. Right now you have this amazing opportunity to take these college credit courses while you're in high school. One of my favorite things about the concurrent enrollment program is that anyone can take these courses. So you don't have to drive mommy's Jaguar, you don't have to be a rich kid. You can take these classes and benefit from them. Concurrent enrollment is dual credit, where you take one class, but you get both high school credit and college credit from the course that you're taking. So if, if you're in a seat right now in high school watching this, you can do concurrent enrollment classes. If, I mean, if a, if a high school student is, is, you know, wondering whether they should take an advanced class, the advice I'll give to them, go for it. Go for it. I mean, the, the, the difference in the world and the people that, that, are, that are doing cool things and have the cool jobs and that, that, are, that are just doing things that they love are the people that have learned to take risks and, and believe in yourself. Um, you'd be surprised what you're capable of. Start making a list of, you know, what am I good at? Where do I excel? What subjects am I good at in school? Um, what do I enjoy doing? Do I enjoy working with people? Do I enjoy working with my hands? Do I love computers? You gotta do what you love. Like if you don't, if you don't feel that fire, that desire to do it, it's gonna be terrible because that's what you do every day for 50 years. If you say, I will play video games all day long, then okay, be a video game designer. I've always enjoyed learning about natural processes and about the physical world. So without any kind of career in mind, I just decided that those would be the subjects that would keep my attention and that I would be motivated to do well in. Taking these concurrent enrollment courses, although it's an amazing opportunity, you do need to be very cautious because these grades that you receive in these courses are going to apply to your college transcript. And your college transcript is a permanent record and that is going to follow you onto your four-year institution. They're going to be a little tougher than the standard high school classes. That's not a bad thing. Many students are ready for that and they're up for the challenge. So you will need to step up your study habits. Students can't study the same way for a high school class as they do a concurrent enrollment class. If this is the opportunity for you to do something great or to start on the path towards something great, go for it. You know, you'll have to work hard. You may stumble a few times. Uh, you may have to pick yourself back up. It's, but it's always worth it in the end. Yeah, unless you want to be a bum and live in the streets, you always going to have to have a job. Unless your daddy is a billionaire and you want to be a rich bum, then Kudos for you. But, mo but if, if you're not in any of the both groups, uh, you have to have a job. What else? You know, how are you going to pay for rent, for your car, for your dates with your pretty ladies, and your hair for the girls, and the nails? How are you going to pay for it? You need a job. We're all going to be working for a long time. So it might as well be something that you're interested in, that's rewarding to you, um, rather than just something you have to do for the next 40 years of your life. No matter what it is, an education, having an education is never going to hurt you or set you backwards. Not having an education will do that. I came, I saw, I conquer. Doing that.
myself, I ask myself this question I'm trying to learn a lesson from other people's indiscretion And it's my impression that we need a new direction Instead of spiraling out of control You should set yourself up with a couple of goals Try to reach a new level or a higher plateau Cause I know that your mind is worth much more than gold Behold the wisdom from the underground I hope you came to party cause tonight is going down As I recycle the flow and bring it backwards Run out of love, it's not a promise that run out of love.